Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the blit method in PY game. Here I'm at the PY game docs. If I click on surface, uh, surface is always what you work on. It's basically a bit image of uh, a, a picture or where you're going to draw to to, to copy it to the screen when you do flip. So blit is the powerhouse of uh, copying anything between one surface and another. So it has a basically blit. It takes a source. Uh, you call it. It's actually a method. So you're going to have the the surface, uh, like the screen dot blit, or if you're drawing to an image, you'd have the name of the image dot blit, and you can draw on top of an image. That's going to be the destination over here. The source will be the where the uh, pixels are coming from. The destination it specifies the location x and y of where you're going to put the uh, image. Uh, the area you can specify which will copy from just an area of the original source instead of using the whole source. And this got some special flags which I'll cover um, in another code sample, but it's part of the article. So I'm going to talk about all this in the article. And it returns a rectangle which is the affected area of where it copied um, the image. Now it may not copy the whole image if you have clipping or you draw, try to draw the image outside of the area of the destination surface it will clip it and this rectangle will return you to what rectangle was actually copied. So let's go to some code I wrote. So first of all, okay, first of all I wrote an article. So this article here uh, gives you a little bit of, of background and Blit actually has existed since the very first graphic devices. Uh, and that dates all the way back to 1973 uh, which was part of the Xerox Alto computer and the Al Xerox Alto computer software was basically copied or modeled to produce both the Macintosh and Windows uh, graphics systems. And it's also used in the um, uh, Linux um, X uh, window system, has Blit. So Blit is a powerhouse in all these systems, so it dates back really a long time. So this is what we basically looked at in the definition of Blit here. Whenever you do a Blit, you're always copying pixels. So it's pixel by pixel copy. So you can't use blit to change the size of something. You have to actually transform the original surface you're going to copy before you copy it. Uh, so this just demonstrates that. And so let's go to my code and I'll demonstrate the three ways you can do a blit. Um, so here's the code I wrote. And this is an, in Pygame. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to run it. It's going to show you three blits. So the first one, it just takes an image uh, which we have here and it just copies it to uh, the screen at a 50-50 offset. So the 50-50 is the destination where you're going to copy it to. And um, then when I click, when I hit spacebar on this, it gets the next part of the code. Now this time it copies just part of the image. So it takes the, it says copy this area of the image. So that's the area parameter. And it says copy it here on the screen. And the next thing we're going to copy from the screen to someplace else. We want to copy this letter E, but to show you it's coming from the screen and not the image, I draw a blue uh, rectangle around the E, and then I copy it down here. And this is the uh, when you copy something from a surface to itself. So those are going to be the three examples in the code. So let me quickly run through the code. So first I have links to my article in the code, and I have a link to the code base. And if you look at this, the description in the video, it has a link to the code base and to the code. And there's also a link to the article in the vi actual video near the beginning when I'm talking about this. Now normally in PY game you have an infinite loop at the end that waits for an event. Um, instead of an infinite loop, I'm just going to just do a few things between, I'm going to do something and wait, do something and wait. So I have this thing called a wait key which uh, flips the uh, display out to the actual display. So it flips the surface display that's been set up out to the display. And then it waits for an event. And if it gets any key down, it just returns. So that would wait for a key before it does the next part of my code. Else, if it gets a quit event, which is when you hit the X on the window, it's going to quit out of the program completely. I set up uh, where I want the window displayed. So if you haven't known, don't know how to do this, this is how you would set up where you want to display this window. 
and I set it up because I'm debugging a lot I set it up to, to appear to the right of my code so I can run the debugger and then I have a uh, load the image so I load the image uh, from letterbox so here's the image it's a PNG image and this creates a surface which I just call image you can name it whatever you want I fill the screen with a background color which I've defined up here it's just a dark gray and then I just blit the image to the screen at 50-50. So that's the first uh, one you saw. And then it waits for a key. And then it's going to uh, create a from area. So it creates a rectangle. And this is the rectangle that in the original image surrounds the F. So then I, this is the second way of using blit. You specify this from area. So I blit the image to another place on the screen and use the from area. So that's going to copy the F that's in the original image to here. And the last one is going to blit from screen to screen or, or surface to surface. So I'm actually going to first draw a rectangle in, in uh, blue very wide here. So you can see it drawn here. And then I'm going to copy that area to here. So you'll notice that the area I'm going to, the screen, is also where I'm coming from, the screen. And the area I'm coming from on the screen is this, and I'm drawing it to this location, which is down here where the E is. And that's it. So uh, I'll just run it once again. So it draws the first image. So that's a simple image to a XY location. And by the way, the XYY location can be supplied as a rectangle, but it ignores the size of the rectangle. It just picks up the upper left corner of the rectangle. Uh, the second thing, it, it blits from the F on the image down to here. And the third one, it draws, draws the blue rectangle and copies that area of the, disp the uh, screen surface to this screen surface. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about how Blit works, taking out some of the mystery.